I want to show you guys how I converted my kayak trailer to a John boat trailer for my John boat. As you can see, I've already taken the PVC pipes off and I have two eight foot treated two by fours. You can use just about any wood, but it's recommended to use treated wood so it lasts longer. I got stainless steel staples and I've got outdoor carpet from Home Depot. That's $10 worth of carpet. If you go to West Marine and buy their carpet, it's $20 per roll. I don't have all the necessary parts for this yet, so this might take me a couple of weeks to convert this trailer. I don't have the brackets or the U-bolts yet. Whenever picking out these boards, trying to find the one with the least amount of knots or any imperfections in it. That can be difficult when you're dealing with any kind of wood. The less imperfections in a piece of wood, the longer it will last. I don't know if you can hear the rain out there, but it's been raining all day and it's probably going to rain most of this week. So I figure I'd catch up on some of my projects. Now this 12 foot long, Home Depot won't cut less than 12 foot long, but if you ask nicely, they will cut it 11 inches. All the staples are going to be on the bottom side of the board. Pretty good at getting ahead of myself. I actually wanted to cut one foot off of this bunk. Instead of having a full 8 foot bunk, I wanted to put 7 foot bunks on here and have a couple of spare pieces if I needed them. Don't do this without proper protection. Just remember, power tools are dangerous. Okay, I'm going to get this as centered as possible. I want to be able to flip this all the way over the edge and then start flipping these pieces over and stapling it as I go. I want to cut right here and cut right here so I could fold this over and then when this is folded like this, I can fold it around and cut it. The ends are probably the hardest part. And as you can see, I'm stapling it on the very end. It looks like I may need to come up here, make sure I'm centered. Put some staples here to make it more manageable. Now I'm going to have to cut it down the sides here so I can fold that down and fold these over. Fold these first and staple them down. And fold these down and staple them. I said a professional would probably do a lot better than me. Now that's the end, and we'll start stapling the rest of it. I know I'm sweating like crazy. It's about 80 degrees in here. It's fall time, and we're still getting summer weather. It's definitely a tedious process of putting all these staples in here. Also have to remember, this is the bottom side. The boat doesn't touch this, so you can put as many staples as you want in here. After a short delay, my parts came in. I'm using this style of bracket. The U-bolt goes through these holes, and the bracket that goes on the bunk goes into that hole. That way that when this is on the trailer, I can adjust it to the boat. But first, I'm going to paint all this, and then in the next couple of days, or start putting it on the bunks. This is all galvanized steel, but I'm going to paint it anyway so I can keep the trailer the same color. I got all these at Academy Sports too. The only thing Academy Sports didn't have was galvanized U-bolts. These are zinc plated steel U-bolts. They do fit the rails perfectly, so I'm just going to go ahead and use them, and I'm going to paint them in hopes that they last longer. Every single one of these has stickers on them too. This is what I used on my entire trailer, Rust-Oleum camouflage. It's kind of a gray-green color. If 
for these, I'm just going to do one coat. I'm going to let it dry, I flip it, and do the other side. And then I'll start putting the bunks together. So a couple more days to go on this project. Now that I get everything painted, I'm going to put brackets on the back first because this is the easy part. I want these about one foot off the back of the trailer. And then when I do the front, it's going to be a complete mess because the trailer is not straight. That will be the fun part. All the nuts and bolts and screws are all galvanized. It's going to be like that. And I measure twice and drill them in. Okay. Side by side. Right about there. I'm going to go 11 inches instead of 12. I want to drill a pilot hole first too. The size of this bolt is 9 16 My drill may be too weak for this too. Yeah, my drill is too weak. I'm going to use it to get everything started and do the same on the other side. Got the good old hammer drill out for this. As you can see, I did one, and then the other, then the other, then the other, until they were both tightened down. The easy part's done. The more difficult part is sizing it for the rest of the trailer. Now, one minor problem I have on this side on my trailer, the reflectors are in the way. The ribs in the bottom of the boat are 20 inches apart. So in order to have the bunks be on the outside of the ridges, they have to be 20 inches apart, which is literally right on top of the reflector. So I'm going to have to peel them off. Now the back of my trailer is almost 40 inches exact. Really, really, really close. These holes are nine inches in each. I can use this to help me center where the bunks need to go. But first, the fun part, getting these reflectors off. This stuff is meant to be permanent. I just don't have the proper tools to do this. This stuff is definitely difficult to get off here. I don't mind scratching the paint either. I'm gonna attempt to repaint this in the areas that I've worked. As you can see, one of the problems I'm gonna run into is these are lock washers. So once you tighten them down, you're not supposed to untighten them. So mocking this all up is uh, gonna be fun. So after looking at this and thinking about it a little bit more, I really do need to lock down these back ones. I want to paint it before I lock them down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray paint it, leave it, let it dry, and then come back tomorrow and lock these down and then start working with the front. So stay tuned. Now that I got the back on, I'm going to start working on the front side. Just for reference, I had to use a 5 8 inch deep well socket for the nuts on the U-bolts. I'm not going to paint or do anything on the back side until I have everything figured out here. That includes putting the boat on the trailer. I've managed to have the back bunks exactly 21 inches apart. So what I've done on the front, I've taken the, the center point which is the trailer tongue, and I've measured 10 and a half inches to the inside of each of these to make the front ones 21 inches apart. That way I can see where the brackets need to go on the front part of the bunks. Now I need to find a magic marker to do this so I can put a dot on the actual carpet and then drill. I don't know where one is at the moment. Found me a magic marker. It's going to be a little bit tricky here. I have to mount these opposite of the ones on the back because the flat side is pointing forward instead of back, like on the back. I think I still want to do it like this. So the board is over the trailer. That looks just about right. Looks like I'm going to have to do what I don't really want to do. I'm going to have to lock these down and then just move it a little bit at a time until I get it where I want it. I'm going to use the hammer drill at first and then I'm going to use a ratchet to adjust it. Okay, I think I can work with that.
I might have said this earlier, but I'm using a tape measure on the front tongue just to make it as even as possible. Great for the first marks. That did pretty good. You can see the two marks in it. Take the back one off. I'm going to do the same thing as what I did with the back one. I'm going to drill a pilot hole, then I'll put the galvanized screw in it. I'm going 100% hammer drill this time because I don't like taking the bit off the hammer drill. It's always a good idea to uh, know where all your sockets are too. I don't know where the socket went. There we go, I found it. 9 16th socket. I'm not going all the way until I get the other one started. Okay, it looks a little bit sideways. Let's see if I can work with this. Well, it may not be perfect, but it fits in there. So I'm going to measure this to 10 and a half inches again, and then I'm going to lock these down. And I'll be done with this side. And I'm going to use a ratchet at first, and then I'll use the power drill to lock them down. You know the old saying goes, measure twice, cut once. Well, I'm measuring this a hundred times because it's important to get it as even as possible. All right, that's one bunk down and I will be doing the exact same thing on the other side. And then I will put the boat on it, which probably won't happen today. So that's going to be yet another day. Get the boat on the trailer now. The bunks are sticking out a little bit on the back, so I have to decide if I want to move the boat back a little bit more. The front, as you can see, is awfully close to the front of the trailer, so I do have room to move it a little bit. But before I do any of that, I need to tighten this nut. I left them loose so I could move the bunks a little bit when I put the boat on, because even a flat bottom boat isn't perfectly flat. So once I have these tightened, they'll be fit to this specific boat. The size of these bolts is three-fourths. And I'm just going to tighten them with this. I'm not going to use the drill. And I do that to all four of them. And this is how I converted my kayak trailer to a boat trailer. I wanted to focus on the bunks for this video. Show you how to put bunks on. It's not that easy, but it's not that hard. You always learn something when you do something new. I may have to do minor adjustments and I still have to paint them. All in all, it's done. So thanks for watching. Please give me a subscribe so you can see my future adventures in this boat.